Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will see what is factorial notation. In my previous video, we have seen fundamental principle of counting. So if you haven't watched that, there is a link in the description box below, you can check that out. So here in order to learn permutations and combinations, first we need to know what is factorial notation or factorial of a number. We will be using this in permutations and combinations. So what is factorial notation or a factorial of a number? So it is denoted as n factorial or it can also be written as n factorial. So here n is a positive number. So, factorial notation is defined only for the positive numbers. Alright, let us say we have 5 factorial. What is the value of 5 factorial? So, 5 factorial is nothing but 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. Let us take any number. Let us say we have 8 factorial. So, it will start with 8 into 7 into 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. Now, let us see what is 10 factorial. We can write like this also, which is equal to 10 into 9 into 8 into 7 into 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. So, this is how you will find the factorial of a number. So, in general, what I can write? n factorial is equal to n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 n minus 3 and so on up till 3 into 2 into 1 right so this will be the general form to write the factorial of a number so if n is 10 so 10 in 10 into 10 minus 1 is 9 similarly 10 minus 2 is 8 and so on up till 3 to 1 right now same equation can i write this as n factorial is equal to n into n minus 1 factorial so n i wrote as it is so this is what n minus 1 factorial right if i were to give example here if i take 5 factorial we have 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 so, can I write this as 5 into, this is 4 factorial. What is 4 factorial? 4 factorial is 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. So, I can replace this whole thing as 4 factorial, right? So, we have a property called as n factorial is equal to n into n minus 1 factorial. So, you can write n factorial is equal to n into n minus 1 factorial. Now, what is 1 factorial? 1 factorial is 1. What is 0 factorial? 0 factorial is also 1. How 0 factorial is equal to 1? Let us say we have 1 factorial is equal to, if I put this property, so n is 1, 1 into n minus 1. So, 1 minus 1 is 0. So, 0 factorial, right? So, I can write 0 factorial. So, from here, 0 factorial is what? Factorial of 1 is 1 by 1. So, we can say 0 factorial is equal to 1. So, always remember this. 1 factorial is 1 and 0 factorial is also 1. Alright? I hope this is clear. Now, let us see problems based on this. But before that, pause the video and note this down. So, we have compute 7 factorial by 5 factorial. So, what is 7 factorial by 5 factorial? So, we know 7 factorial that is 7 into 6 into, can I write 5 factorial? Right? By this 5 factorial, I can cut this. What is 7 6 are? 42. Here 5 factorial is nothing but what? 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1, right? So, since I have 5 factorial, I can cut them. So, I wrote it as 5 factorial. Let us move to the second one. We have 12 factorial by 10 factorial into 2 factorial. 
So here if I want to cut 10 factorial what I can write here. So 12 into 11 into 10 factorial right. By this 10 factorial I will keep as it is so I can cut them into 2 into 1. 2 factorial is 2 into 1. So this and this is gone. We have 2 ones are 2 6 are 12. So here this is 6 into 11 is 66. Now let us see the next one. We have evaluate n factorial by r factorial into n minus r factorial when n is equal to 5 and r is equal to 2. So let us substitute the value of n and r in this. So we have n factorial that is 5 factorial by r is 2 so 2 factorial into n minus r 5 minus 2 is 3 so 3 factorial which is equal to. So we have 5 factorial what is 5 factorial 5 factorial is nothing but 5 into 4 into 3 factorial right by so here we have 2 factorial so 2 into 1 into this 3 factorial keep as it is so I can cut here right so 2 ones are 2 twos are 4 so 5 twos are 10. Now let us see one last problem so let us see this last problem here it says if 1 by 8 factorial plus 1 by 9 factorial is equal to x by 10 factorial find the value of x. So we have 1 by 8 factorial plus 1 by 9 factorial is equal to x by 10 factorial. So this implies 1 by 8 factorial plus 1 by 9 factorial. So I can write 9 into 8 factorial right which is equal to x by this 10 factorial I can write as 10 into 9 into 8 factorial. So this implies if I keep 1 by 8 factorial outside so 1 plus 1 by 9 here also 1 by 8 factorial we are left with x by 10 into 9 correct. So this and this is gone. So this implies here I will take LCM. So 9, 9 ones are 9. So 9 plus 1 is 10. So 10 by 9 is equal to x by 10 into 9. So this implies x is equal to I will bring these two terms to the other side. So 10 we have into 10 into 9 by 9. So 9 and 9 is gone. So therefore x is equal to 10 into 10 is 100. So I hope this is clear. So this is it in this video. See you soon. Till then take care. Almighty bless. <music>